Look what just happened to our closet door. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, YouTube world. So it is Monday morning. Been an exciting morning already and it's not even halfway through the day. <laughs> not really exciting, it's just been really busy. So I woke up, John had already left. Um, he is out of town for the week for work. He's gotten really busy in that area of his life. So we're gonna have to kind of adjust how our family works now with that new change. But I woke up and got the kids around and I'm watching three of my friend's kids today. So. I text them all because Wyatt actually woke up sick. He had a sore throat and a fever, low grade, but still a fever, and I'm not that mom who sends their kid to school. Like, I don't wanna be that mom who gets everybody sick. And since John's been sick, I was like, I don't think it's a great idea. So I kept him home from school and um, text all my friends and were like, this is what's going on. Like, I'm fine, because I know, I, you know, I, I said I'd watch kids, and like, if you need me to, I can and um, they didn't care. So why is in his room resting right now? Well, I'm kind of just hanging out with kids, trying to get lunch going and um, put down a baby for a nap and all that good stuff. So this has been my Monday so far. <laughs> my mom's actually gonna come over in about an hour to stay with Wyatt and um, the baby while they're na she's napping so that I can take Kaya and her friend to school, to preschool. And yeah, so we're just gonna try to get through today and I have to pick up Ava from elementary school around three and um, try to fit in a workout at home somewhere around there. So happy Monday to you guys. So it is Tuesday afternoon. I just got Kaya off to preschool um, with her friend. Uh, my friend's mom is sick, so I'm watching her kids today too. But Wyatt, is sick as well and so he's home and I have to take him to the doctor at 410 today but I, I mean I told my friend I'm like he's sick still from yesterday like let me know what you want to do and she was she was like germs are germs it's okay so <sighs> why it's feeling better though but I definitely still need to take him in just because he has been at school for two days and just want to make sure that like it's nothing like if it's strep or something that needs like antibiotics I don't know I don't know anyways I'm taking him in the doctor made it seem like I need to bring him in so I'm gonna bring him to his appointment later or I'm gonna take him to his appointment later but um it's been a long day it's like only one o'clock and I'm exhausted and it's not necessarily my kids or like being home by myself it's just I don't know the little girl who I'm watching like pooped and she smeared it all over my bathroom downstairs so um, I spent a, about an hour bleaching the entire basement, like, area, because she also, not bleaching, but you know what I mean, like, disinfecting, because she also, like, smeared it down her pants somehow, stepped in it, and, like, like, pushed it into my rugs, like, it's, like, caked in, like, I had to scrub those and put them in the wash, and then she walked into my downstairs carpet, newly carpet, well, less than a year carpeted living room, with her poopy socks and I was not quick enough to catch her and she's old enough for those of you wondering she is old enough to not do those things and then she tried hiding it from me which was pretty hard to do because I could smell it immediately when I walked downstairs and I was just in the kitchen preparing lunch so it's been a long day <laughs> anyways good news is John called me and said that he will kind of good news John called me and said he would actually be home late tonight he's got some work he has to do in town tomorrow so they're cutting the week short but he might be gone again on thursday i don't know but he actually is coming home tonight so i'm a little bit disappointed because i kind of enjoyed sleeping by myself last night in our king size bed and honestly i do okay when john's gone like get down off my bed you are not invited nuna get down get down get down um I actually do okay when he's gone. Stuff runs smoother. Um, life's a little bit easier just because the kids listen to me more and they're like better behaved and I'm not the only one who notices. John notices it too. I'm a little bit bummed because I'm like, man, the house is clean. I'm getting everything done. I'm being so productive and John's coming home. But I miss him though because we hardly ever spend any time apart. So it'll be nice for him to be home. But yeah, like, I don't know. Stuff just runs smoother when he's not around. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, and I enjoyed sleeping in my bed last night without him. Um, our bed. Our bed without him. Um, except for Kaya did join me at like 6 a.m. this morning. It was kind of nice. We were kind of cuddling and stuff. But, but I need to work out. I haven't worked out since Saturday, which it's only Tuesday. But I like to work out, you guys know, four or five times a week. So I'm going to take my weights downstairs and get a good workout in while um, my friend's daughter's napping and while Wyatt's downstairs watching something on the couch. And yeah, maybe I'll try to film it and do like an at-home leg workout. Maybe. We'll see how like productive I'm feeling. I'm really tired right now. <laughs> I filmed it. My legs are dead and feeling really shaky right now. <laughs> but just did like a really quick four different exercises I think video. So that should either be up right now or it will be up soon. <coughs> how are you feeling, buddy? A little bit better. A little bit better. It'll be okay. They just swabbed his throat, and if anyone's had a strep test, it's not fun. But he did it like a champ. And what are we gonna have for dinner? Pancakes. Pancakes. Wyatt wants pancakes. <laughs> so the doctor told me to feed Wyatt whatever he was craving and could put down, so he wanted chocolate chip pancakes. So that is what we are making for YY. Did they tell you that he has the flu? Yeah, he has the flu. So Kaya is on a preemptive uh, prophylactic. Basically, it's just a medicine that'll hopefully make it so she doesn't get sick. And then I got one called in for me from my doctor as well, just because John was so sick. Now John actually came home early for early from his week-long trip. He was supposed to be gone for almost a week, but he ended up only being gone for one night and two days. So yeah, now we're just trying to get Kaya to take her medicine though. Not so easy to do, is it, Wyatt? Mm. Especially after Wyatt told her how gross it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime snack. No, I'm not pregnant. I am on my period. Weirdo. So it is Wednesday, it's five o'clock. I'm just getting um, some soup on the stove made for dinner. My mom's coming over in about 20 minutes. Oh, you guys just fogged up on me. I was coming over in about 20 minutes for dinner. I just got done filming two videos that I'd already filmed um, over the weekend, but then, but then stupidly deleted on accident off my SD card, so there was no way of recovering them. Long story short, I got those refilmed. I'm doing laundry still. So is life. John has been kind of, I don't know, all over the place with his work. So that's been going on. Wyatt's downstairs sick still. He is basically out for the rest of the week. The doctor's like, he's out for the rest of the week. So, yeah. They do have the medication started though, and he seems to be doing a lot better. He seems to be back to normal, minus his fever that we have to kind of keep under control with Motrin. But for the most part, he's not been like vomiting or anything like that, which I am thankful for because you guys know I do not, I cannot handle vomit. I am not very good with it at all. But yeah, so I am making soup, doing laundry. Gotta get out of these clothes because I'm wearing a nice top and then sweatpants. There's Kaya. That's how I film. <laughs> I got my onions browning. I just realized I got grease on my shirt. Probably should have taken it off. This is my glamorous life, guys. Isn't it so fancy? Yesterday I was cleaning up poop all over the bathroom downstairs and today I'm in a fancy shirt and sweatpants and house shoes that have a hole in the toe because I'm cheap and don't want to buy new ones. Yeah, that's my life. <laughs> got done eating I made taco soup it was so good I don't and not because I made it but I, I feel like if you when you haven't had it for a long time it just tastes really good suddenly but I just want to show you guys look at these new Daisy like sour cream containers it's like perfect I don't understand why they didn't do this sooner because we always dirty up an extra spoon you know because you don't want to mix like people's food in the like sour cream so now you don't have to and it squirts out really nicely and everything but the taco soup is pretty good did you like it John mm-hmm John's trying to shovel it down. He needs to go to the pharmacy to get my prophylactics. That's a weird word. Um, because I don't want to get sick, but pharmacy's kind of like maybe I've already had it. I don't know. I'm trying to, I don't know. I didn't feel well last week, but it wasn't to the extent of John and Wyatt, so who knows. I'm also drinking that milk stout I talked about in my last vlog. It's by Left Hand Brewing Company. It's so good. I haven't, I don't know. I think it's sold here. Not sure. This is still out of the pack that I bought from Chicago when we were out there last week. I'm a slow drinker. I only, I'm like one beer and I'm good. Um, but it just sounded good with dinner, so it's, it's pretty tasty.
I mentioned these on Snapchat, but um, this one right here is my old wine key from when I used to bartend and waitress. It's amazing. It opens up wine bottles really nicely, and it also has an awesome like beer tab or bottle opener on the other end. Well, this was lost for the longest time. I've had it since I was 19, so I'm 30, so I've had it for 11 years. It's amazing, but I lost this for the longest time, but because it gets lost so easily, I bought a set of four from Amazon, so... I have two right here for backups, and then I also have two that I'm going to give to friends because they're uh, wine and beer connoisseurs, so I thought they would like them. But I guarantee you, one of these will get lost downstairs in his office, another one will get lost randomly somewhere in the kitchen, and then I'll be left with one. So that's why I have three now in our drawer. But if you're wondering, these are by pull taps. I'll leave a link for it below. There are a bunch of knockoffs of these. You want the actual name brand ones. They're not that expensive, but this has been working for me for the last 11 years and I just, oh my gosh. You can see my name is like rubbed off, but oh, I love this thing. So many memories, so many memories. Good afternoon or actually good evening. Thanks to Daylight Savings, is that what it is? Spring forward or whatever? It's still light out and it's five o'clock at night. I, you know, here's the thing is I complained a lot in the last vlog about the whole time change thing because let's face it, it sucks. I mean, I was exhausted and I've still been, I'm finally now getting back on my sleep schedule, but, um, or the right one, but man, it is nice to have more daylight, especially when I'm filming because you guys know I like to use natural daylight, except for my last two videos have been, were kind of wonky, or I guess you haven't seen those yet, but the last two that I filmed, it was like light, dark, light, dark. Anyways, those you'll see soon, but yeah, so I know I was complaining about that, but I do like this extra light into the day. Like, I'm so looking forward to just warmer weather so I can, like, go for a run. Like, right now, I really am jonesing to go for a run, but even if I wanted to run in the cold and snow i can't because john is actually in cincinnati right now he is gone for work today so he will be home tonight though um he's just got a lot of driving to do today but yeah our lives have just become really busy his job's changed and he's got more work and that's great and that's fine and i'm excited for that but uh this week was just a handful because as you guys know from earlier in this vlog We've had sick kids, we've had poop explosions, and all of that, and yeah, so um, I really need to work out tonight. I don't think I'll be able to get into the gym, though, so I'll probably have to just do a workout at home. It's Thursday, so I have a lot of cleaning to do. Basically, for the last two hours since I got Kaya from school and uh, dropped off my friend's kid, I've been just editing and uploading videos. I uploaded my period panty review video, so that is up for those of you guys who are wondering. But I've just been trying to get all of that done to get out of the way, and now I need to just clean. I need to clean, 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 clean. Wash sheets, strip sheets, all of that, because my mom is moving in tomorrow. She sells her house in a few days, like they close on the house, and she's gotta be out of there. So until she can retire and go live with my dad um, at their new location, she's going to stay with us. So she's actually taking over Ava's room, which Ava will not be here. Like she's here every other week. For those of you guys who wonder, um, I still maintain physical custody of her, but for the last year, she's been visitation wise every other week at her dad's. Uh, she comes here. I pick her up from school though, every day in the afternoon, even on his weeks. And then he picks her up from our house just because it makes life easier. Um, and if something's going on during his week or my week, like we just work together to make it work for each other. Cause you know, that's like the most important thing. And we've just, we've developed a really great, you know, parental relationship in the last year. And it's just been amazing. So, um, I know I've gotten a lot of questions from some new subscribers like, Oh, you have a daughter, another kid. And yes, I don't show her here. You guys already know why if you don't somebody comment or whatever will tell you or fill you in why I don't show her. But yeah, so she actually won't be here for a lot of April because either she'll be at her dad's house or she does have sixth grade camp coming up, which she'll be gone for the week for that, which I'm really excited for her because I loved sixth grade camp. Though when I went to sixth grade camp, I did not poop the entire week I was there. The child that I used to be is nothing like the person I am now. Like I... Well, I guess I'm kind of the same because I do still have a lot of anxieties. I've always suffered with like anxiety, depression, really bad, just like shyness all around and self-doubt and like all of that stuff. Like I am, 
I don't know how I am the way that I am right now because I was not any, I was, I was such a horrible mess growing up. Like I just, I was terrible. So when I was in sixth grade, I was deathly shy. I was the only Asian at the whole entire camp that we went to. And we were there for a week and we had to be like share a cabin with girls and stuff like that. And I didn't really have a lot of like best friends. I had close friends, but no one that I felt like I really could talk to about like bodily functions for some reason, which is why I always talk about like pooping and farting and periods and all that so openly with my kids and in front of them and with people because I grew up in a household where like you were made fun of if you farted or if something pooped, somebody, if you pooped in the bathroom, somebody would be like, oh man, Kelly stunk up the bathroom. And it was like horrendously embarrassing and you, and it made me feel like it was something that was unnatural and something that was wrong. So because of that, I, when I went to sixth grade camp and I was sharing this cabin and bathroom with like 13 other girls, most of them weren't even from my school, I didn't poop the entire week. I was so nervous. I would go to bed with these horrible stomach cramps because I would just force myself not to poop. And then I came home and I was constipated for maybe three days after I came home. And I was almost, I almost had my mom take me to the doctor because I was just like, oh my gosh. So... Anywho, what was the point of that? Um, so I like to make things comfortable in this house, stuff like that. You know, it's a bodily function. I, you know, I don't like when people shame people for things that are natural. So I really hope Ava has a better experience than me. But I had, other than the non-pooping thing, I had a great time in sixth grade camp. Um, I got terribly homesick, though, because that's who I am. I'm a homebody. I don't know what I'm going to do when my parents move away because I've never lived away from my mom for more than, like, five miles away from her in my total existence, minus before I was adopted. But... Yeah, so anyways, I hope she has a lot of fun. I think she'll be okay just because of the fact that she is used to going from house to house since she was a baby. Um, I, it will be a little bit different. I mean, she had some adjustment period because like this last year is the first year we did the every other week or maybe it started last year. But for the most part, she was every other weekend with midweek visits. And so it took her a little bit of adjustment time to do the every other week. So I hope that that, like I said, I hope that prepares her for the week away next month at camp but anyways so she'll she'll won't she won't actually be here the entire month of april when my mom's here so when she is here she'll just share a room with the other two because they do that all the time my two youngest share a bedroom with bunk beds and then we have a pull-out bed underneath the bunk beds and ava sleeps in there even when she doesn't have to like she'll be like can i sleep with kai and wyatt or they'll ask for her like it's just weird it's not weird i should be happy that my kids love each other but uh yeah so they'll be fine and everyone's so excited for grandma to be living here for a month and me and John are going to try to take a weekend away actually before uh like maybe in April like the first or second weekend in April so let me know if you guys have any suggestions of where we should go because we want to do a trip away my mom already said to be okay and she'd stay with the kids as kind of our last hurrah before she moves to another state but let me know if you guys have any suggestions of places me and John should travel to but yeah so anyways I'm gonna let you guys go because I don't know how long this video is and this rant probably took me over like 20 something minutes who knows but yeah, that's uh, that's been my week. Tomorrow, like I said, my mom's moving in. So for the rest of tonight, I will be cleaning and getting ready for her and clearing out Ava's room a little bit so she has more room. And then Friday and this weekend, she's moving out of her house. So that's what we'll be busy with doing. And yeah, I got a lot of videos, a lot. Like I uploaded four videos today, guys, and they're queued up and ready to post a live. So those will be coming up. And um, that's about that. So thanks for watching as always. And... I will talk to you all later. I don't know how to end this video. I feel so awkward right now. <laughs> ah, bye.